Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa, and in today's class, we are doing a core workout with hip mobility and strengthening. Go grab your mats, and let's do this. All right, let's get started on our backs. Come down, find comfortable position. Just wiggle left, wiggle right. Gentle breath. And we're gonna start by taking your left ankle to your right knee. We're gonna bring the legs over towards the right hand side. And you're gonna think of pulling that left knee towards you. And then you're gonna push it away. Pull it towards you. And then pushing it away. And noticing Maybe it doesn't go very far. Maybe it goes further in one direction than the other one. You're feeling the muscles on the outside of that hip really kicking up, gently moving in and out. Keep using that breath. Nice work. We've got three, Ooh, two, one more. Now keep pushing that leg away from you. We're gonna take that left arm, sweep your left arm up overhead, reach through those left fingertips, nice gentle breath in, and then exhale, let it go. Left arm comes back down, take that right arm, reach your right arm up overhead, keep pushing that left leg away from you. And then exhale, bring that back down. Both legs come back up. And notice the difference between your left and your right. Maybe it's just me. Outside of my left hip's like, woof, got a workout in already. So you're pushing that right knee away from you. We're gonna bring the legs over towards the left hand side. And maybe it touches, maybe it doesn't. And you're gonna work on pull that left knee, left knee, right knee, just kidding. Right knee comes in towards you. And then you're gonna push that leg away. Pull it in and push it out and just see, is it different than your other side? What are you noticing? Gently pull in and pull back out. And we're always trying to balance our left side and our right side. Noticing if one side moves a little bit more, if it's easier to feel the strengthening and stability on one side than the other side. And there's such a big connection between our hips and our pelvic floor muscles. One of our deep hip rotators attaches onto our pelvic floor. So if we've got tight hips or tight pelvic floor, vice versa. Good. Now you're going to hold. Keep pushing that leg away from you. Take that right arm. Reach your right arm all the way up overhead. Lengthen through those fingertips. Nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Nice, take one more nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. And then we'll switch, take that left arm, reach your left arm all the way up overhead, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Bring that arm back down by your side, pull those legs back up, and now just notice left side, right side. And then Let's roll, come all the way up, and we're gonna come into tabletop position. So coming onto those hands and knees, press down into the hands, take your left leg, shoot that left leg straight back behind you. Keep reaching through that back heel. You're gonna float your leg, come up. Exhale, pull that left knee towards your left elbow. Like you're blowing out candles, feel the lower abs kick on. Send that leg back behind. We're going to peel those hips, lift open towards the sky, coming into your side plank. And then spin it right back down. Tabletop. Exhale, hug it in and hold. Slowly send it back, reach through that back heel, float lift up so the leg can stay up or it can come down. Spin it, drop it back down. Exhale, hug it in. Send that leg back, peel those hips open. Careful you're not really arching through the back. We wanna make sure that rib cage stays stacked over your pelvis. Last time, exhale, hug it in. Nice work. Send that leg back, peel those hips open up into your side plank. Nice job. Slowly bring it back down. 
And then we're just going to switch to the other side. So take that right leg, send your right leg straight back behind, press into the top of that left shin. We want to make sure we're not sinking in the chest, don't have a big arch. Everything stays nice and neutral. Float that leg towards the sky. Exhale, hug. Right knee in. Nice. Slowly send that leg back. Drive through your back heel. Peel those hips open. Come up into your side plank. Drop it back down. Exhale, knee to elbow. Send it back. Peel that chest. Lift it open. Bring it back down. Exhale, hug it in. Really feel the core fire up. Send it back. Peel, lift that chest open. Nice. We're going to go through one more time. Exhale, hug it in. Might be feeling that left hip firing up too. Send that leg back. Peel it open. Nice work. And then exhale, bring it down. We're going to take that right leg. Step your right leg in front. Curl those back toes underneath and come all the way up into a lunge position. You don't have to have a really big stance. We're driving down into both feet. Sweep those arms, lift all the way up overhead. You're gonna exhale, bring those arms straight out in front. Take your left elbow underneath your right. Come into eagle arms so the back of your hands can come together or those palms can come together. Inhale, drive, those elbows lift up. Exhale, come forward. You're gonna take that left foot Hook the left foot in front, or you can take your left ankle to your right knee. Come into a figure four. Sink the hips, arms by your side. You can also hold onto a wall. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Left knee pushes down towards the ground. Nice. Inhale, lift, come up. Sweep it back. Take that left on top of your right. Inhale, drive those arms, lift up. Exhale, bring it back down. Shift, come forward, find your figure four. So we're, whoo, we're moving in and out of those positions. Check to make sure you're not gripping your toes. Send that leg back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, come in front. Hook left on top of right. Shift, come forward. That right leg is doing all the work when we're coming forward. We're sending the hips back. Keep driving left knee to the ground. Nice, we've got one more time. Take that left on top of your right. Hinge, come forward and sink it down. Arms come by your side, nice job. Inhale, come back up, left foot comes down to the right and then we'll switch, step it back. Drive that right heel down, inhale, sweep those arms, lift up. Take your right, sweep your right on top of the left. Back of the palms, or palms come together. Drive into your left foot, spread those twos. Ankle comes in front, ankle to knee. You can also be holding on to something. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Notice differences in the tightness of those hips from side to side, crescent lunge. Hook in front, shift, come forward, sink it down. Find your pace that works for you. Use your breath moving in and out. Left leg does all the work. Nice job. We've got two more times sweeping through. Drive those elbows up. Hinge, come forward, sink it down. Ooh, nice job, last one. Eagle arms, drive those elbows up, hinge forward. Open through that chest, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. Press down into both feet, inhale, sweep those arms, come up. Exhale, we're gonna fold forward. Take that right leg, step your right leg back. Left leg comes back. You can do plank on your knees, plank on those toes. Slowly lower everything all the way down. Inhale, open up, cobra. Option, you can sink it back, child's pose. If you wanna lift those hips, come up and back, down dog. Ooh, little ants. <laughs> Keep lifting those hips, nice breath in. Exhale, let it go. 
Good. Take one more breath. And you're going to pull yourself, come forward. Drop down onto your right knee. And we're going to spin to turn to face the side of our mat. Those hands can come down to the ground. And you're going to sink your hips back. So we're looking for a nice inner thigh stretch. And gently pull yourself forward and back. You want to be careful that you're not rounding out through your back. So if you need some blocks or to prop your hands up on something, you can go ahead and do that. Inhale, sink those hips back. Keep thinking of lifting that tailbone towards the sky. And as you inhale, send the breath to those sit bones. If it feels really good to hold in a position, you can hold there for a couple breaths. If it feels better moving in and out, you can do that as well. Good. Three. Two. Last one. Bring that left leg back in. We'll scoot that right leg out to the side. Sink those hips back and come back up. Does one inner thigh feel a little different than the other? Do you notice more tightness? Is it closer down by the knee, up by the hip? Nice work. Sink those hips back and forward. For three, two, last one. Scoot that leg back in, and then we're gonna come down onto our backs. And then you're gonna take that left knee, pull your left knee in towards your chest. So you can grab behind the back of your left knee, pulling that down towards your left shoulder. You can grab to the outside of your left foot, gently rocking from side to side. If you want to come into a full happy baby, grabbing onto both back of your knees or back of those feet, you can. Either option works. This last exercise, opening up pelvic floor muscles, opening up those hips, and gently stay with your breath. Nice breath in, exhale, let it go. Awesome, take one more breath in. Nice. And then slowly let go of those legs. Lengthen out through everything. Sweep those arms, lift up overhead. Shift your hips left and right. Exhale, get nice and heavy. And then slowly bring those arms back down by your side. And take a gentle breath in. Exhale, let it go. Notice those hips, notice how your core feels. Nice, gentle breath in. Maybe those glutes are a little bit fired up. Exhale, let it go. One more breath in here. And then slowly sliding those legs back in. Gently roll onto your side, making your way come all the way up to a comfortable seated position. Let's take nice big cleansing breath in. Lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale your hands down towards heart center. Keep up the good work. Until next time, namaste.